this is letters-home.ca. And so they're saying this year to remind Canadians of wartime sacrifice, Home Equity Bank is sending authentic letters from soldiers who fought in the first and second world wars to their original destinations in Canada. This is an excerpt from a soldier named Eric, I'm going to read to you right now, located in France during the First World War. This is in France, May 3rd, 1917. He said, my dear father, I've asked them to send this letter to you and a somewhat similar one to Molly. This is my first time reading it, by the way. I'm just catching this now. In case I am reported killed or missing, I say missing because in the flying corpse that the word in nearly every case means killed. Death seems very far away as we sit here in the warm spring sunshine with the sweet smoky air of France making every moment of outdoors a pleasure. But it is not far away. The ever-changing face around our mess tell me that the fact of the disappearance of one by one of the cheery boys who for days or weeks have sat opposite me at the table and the continuous heavy thundering of the guns which makes the very ground shake as I write is in itself abundant proof that death is very near at hand. If I am spared, it is by God's mercy. Of course, we will never allow ourselves to think of these things for long. Our nerve is just as precious and as necessary for our safety as our eyesight. For that reason, the days that we have lost, some of our best pals, are always concluded by the most uproarious nights in the mess. When the piano and Victoria in the mess although going full swing are drowned by the hullabaloo of the rough house that we raise. And if I drop out of sight some of these days, that's how my pals will spend the evening, and I am glad to think of that. Unimaginable. There's so it goes on, lovingly signed, Eric. And again, that's from May 3rd, 1917.